so yesterday in this video right here let me show it here <clears throat> in this one um, if you what we did is we copied data we did not have to write it we just copy pasted it so we want to s now this was the command we went uh, through everything now we're gonna pass everything along you know we know what to do what, what to deal with <clears throat> where to put commas where to put a uh, single quotes so we done all that we learned it now we're gonna try add rest of the 14 um, um, this uh, rows in one go let's try that so let me first make it bigger so you can see get the font size to now we're gonna what we're gonna do is actually we can copy this <coughs> control C so you know what's going on so in this uh, I'm just uh, inserting data into employees table that's uh, part of it's not in master so it should be databases I need to use the use command is it use employee DB so I can execute it so I am in employee DB and that's the database for uh, table right there employees <coughs> so let me let take it down so what i'm doing is i'm i believe you have seen uh, all of the videos prior to this one in this series so you know what's going on so i'm just uh, giving you like a hint a re refresher that we are inserting into employees table that we are in employee database employee db that's the database name uh, we are passing these values by writing let's say values and then we making double quote and we don't have to write values each time we just can do this so and we can copy paste it all together 13 more time because this is the 14th one so what we can do is oops we can go like this That's actually a better way of doing it. Yes. Let's remove everything. Let's go here. Remove this as well. Now we're gonna put just this. We're gonna first copy all the rows and then we can do the um uh, will it work like this? Yes it worked. Now all I have to do is copy control C on your keyboard and I have to come here and paste it my data is in and it's a mess no it's not oh it's beautiful actually it's not a mess it's beautiful I was thinking that null got uh, um, changed but if I can show you the last value over here is actually null so it came the way it was supposed to be so it's beautiful all I have to do is I have to just add uh, brackets no nope so this is the way <coughs> uh, I decrease the chance of any mistakes come on Sp spoke too soon right <laughs> I hate this keyboard but I'm stuck with this one for a while all right so my <coughs> starting brackets are in now I'll have to go to the end and close brackets Each row is bracketed now all I have to do is going starting from here this is the date of joining so I have to insert commas I should have done right then 
So this comma tells that uh, there are more values coming and this is not the end. And the last one right here, I don't have to insert comma, I have to close it with semicolon. And that tells it. So you see, I don't have to write this line, the first line over and over again. I don't have to write values over and over again in front of it. I'm just passing it and letting it know, okay, hey, this is what's going to be done. <clears throat> happening. Uh, just go with it. Now, um, I, I've i shown what we did here. So if it's variable character, we have to uh, single quote it. Date, we have to single quote it. Uh, anything else, uh, not like integers, we can uh, get away with just the commas. <clears throat> so this will go into This will go into just uh, single quotes. So, thank God for that. You see, everything turns red. Uh, it should be end with comma. Again, everything goes red. Comma, Hyderabad. So, you this. Imagine that you are not writing it. You just uh, paying attention to quotes. Uh, sorry, commas and s single quotes. <coughs> what if you miss something? It's pretty good at not running it for you and let you know, hey, you did something. It's a uh, Integers, get away with that. Integer, this one is the variable character for null. Yeah, you can get away with this. For this, again, 75B. What's that? 75B. Ah, that's the address. So for 75B, it should like go like this, and you're good. So one line is done. If we were, if we wanted, we could run that, but we already ran last night. So I'm really interested in uh, running everything straight for shot. See if I get it. Number Nicholas Road. The only mistake you will do is you will forget any commas probably <coughs> or for <laughs> in this matter it will be me Senior admin, probably it's not SSR admin. <coughs> Excuse me. So I think you really have to consult your data when you're dealing with something like senior admin. So you don't want to put a uh, code senior. So you have to make sure that it's what it means. Because what you will, if I were to do it like this, like put a comma here and then do this, <coughs> what's going to happen is senior will go into the uh, designation field and admin will jump to the next one we don't want that so we want it to be a senior admin <coughs> now this is admin so we get a I 
9.11 yeah we can pass that in gear I think it's uh, <clears throat> let me see what's it 9.1 and one manager ID is different okay comma and comma and you see you I had to go and consult the data <coughs> excuse me so if you have seen my video when we did the Gritker information that was a lot longer I believe it is not gonna take uh, 40 minutes I hope not <coughs> Junior Ush Junior Admin. So when was the senior admin? Why it's okay. So if you saw this if you see this red light a uh, red line, it gives you a pretty good idea where like if you were reading uh, looking at the screen you will right away see where the error could be <clears throat> you see it gone oh, the admin. so that's the administration 1.8 so okay this will go in here So now from cool solution. <coughs> Bangalore. Senior ID. So you have to really, really make sure. <clears throat> if you're not comfortable doing this, don't do it. But if you like it, <clears throat> you can actually look into. <clears throat> nope. You can actually look into. Um, What's it's called? Uh, CVS file, CSV, comma separated file. So <clears throat> that is a real, real good. So you can actually convert your um, mm, Excel file into a comma separated file. And what happens is that you have already all of these commas where they are supposed to be, so you do not have to consult the document. And then it will it will be a last step. You all you have to do is just find the variable characters and the dates to uh, put the commas in there. <clears throat> I will actually try that as well. Probably with the same file, see if I get the same output. Oops, hi, I'll just do that 1.1. So notice the color of the null value. So even though it's uh, a character, like a, 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 a English words, uh, letters, sorry, but uh, it's known, so we don't have to single quote it.
and we actually were very happy it does not error out Allah Akbar Allah So let's go Oh Got to do this Is that a correct name, Noida? Or is that a mistake? Quality assurance lead. Oops, that's not supposed to be. Is that an area name? <clears throat> so quality assurance. Countdown. That's not going to be there. <coughs> Twenty finance. I'm not so sure.
finally, the last one. Um, If you're wondering how I change that uh, cursor, it's insert. And the moment of truth. Now let's see if I get any error while passing these values or not. Um, I hope I it goes smoothly. I'm in input DB and I am passing everything now. Hopefully, hopefully, let's execute it <clears throat> in, the, in the keyword null so line 31 so if you can see it says I am on line 43 right here so for line 31 that's 32 so in here in the null value wherever it is I have some issues keyword null so where is the null value right there there is no comma Let's try it one more time. 14 rows affected. So I, if you can see there, this, if you can see we did the first one, Ashok here, and then rest of them 14 we did. It says 14 rows affected. It means that I have successfully added this data in, the, in there. Let's see. Uh, Let's run this, see everything in action in here. Execute, it's showing me everything in here. All 15 values. So we can do the side-by-side -side comparison of different, uh, for example, the names are same. Maybe it's two. Giri, Mike, David, Sarita, Suresh, Ramesh, Sagar, Kanapa, Sesha, Gayatri, Parivalka, Paravalika, Hari, Prasad, Anil. So everything looks good here. You can see a male, female, USA. And date of birth is in date of birth, location. So you can see date of joining is same. Nothing is like odd. Salary is in salary range. Department number, uh, department name. Num so we can do a really good will be doing side by side for date of leaving I wish I could show you the whole screen but if we can do it like this date of uh, leaving right there and you can see date of leaving 30 and 27 Be in between there is a null value and then 3 to 5 5 so uh, so far everything looks good right if you can see go admin and finance on the department name so it looks beautiful if we go further in total experience you can see that one six point one all that beautiful and in the manager id we can see where null is so far looks good let's uh, save the script save yeah so now this one is saved even if I drop it, do anything, I don't have to go copy paste it again, put the commas in or anything. It should be there. So you, you can see, I think almost I cut half of my time right in when I was typing, it was 40 minutes. I did this around uh, 20 to 23 minutes. So pretty good. <clears throat> I'm very happy with this one. Uh, so there's another way of doing with the comma separator file, but that's for another day. Uh, if this video has helped you, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you in the next one.